Hey, true story. When Steve was a little baby, we brought him home from the hospital and uh, we had just moved into a new house. When we brought him home, we were in a trailer, but we had built this new house and um, it was on a two acre lot and there were uh, there was a bee's nest in the foundation uh, underneath the house, the crawl space. And so coming out of like the ventilation, these hornets or bees were coming out and he's a little baby and Sandy's freaking out. And so uh, I do what all great husbands do. They take charge and take over. And I grabbed a vacuum cleaner and I started sucking up these bees, you know, thinking that was going to do it. And uh, <clears throat> sure enough, all it did was just make a bigger mess and uh, finally had to uh, get underneath the house with a bomb and do all this stuff. Well, I heard a story about a lady in St. Louis who had had a similar experience and <clears throat> she just ignored it. She said, oh, these bees aren't going to hurt anything. Well, about six months later, her entire uh, ceiling had caved in from the attic. These bees were up in the attic and they caved in. The honey had gotten so heavy that uh, it crashed through the sheetrock or the, the ceiling there and created, the, you know, it was irreparable, just an absolute mess. And I think about the things that we neglect, uh, things that we think that we can handle on our own without calling a beekeeper, or without doing uh, the right kind of job, or just pretending like, oh, it'll go away, it'll go away, it'll go away. The Bible says in Hebrews 10, 25, to not neglect meeting together, not neglect connecting with one another. Uh, and it's so important for you to have connection with people of faith, people that love God, people that can encourage you, people that can spur you on to good things. We're in the midst of a 60-day experiment, a 60-day revolution, a challenge that can we stay connected to God hour by hour for 60 days? And can we stay connected to the people of God for 60 days. We've enlisted running partners, people that are going to walk with us. And if you have not taken that challenge, man, read the Bible again, Hebrews 10, 25, do not neglect meeting together. Now we can ignore it, we can pretend, we can act like I don't need it, I can do it myself, it's not that big of a deal, but eventually your house is gonna cave in. Your roof's gonna cave in on you. You can tell me, no, 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 it won't. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Life happens when we're making other plans. And we don't want it to happen, but it happens. And, and when those disasters take place, you got to have people in your life to support you, to encourage you, to hold you up, to walk you through the pain that we're going through. Every one of us are going to face it. And if we, the difference is, are we going to have Christ in our life? Are we going to know who to call on? Are we going to have people in our life that we need? Do not neglect meeting together. Um, very, very uh, excited about this 6060 Challenge. If you haven't registered yet, you can do it online on our app. Uh, let's make it happen. Jesus, thank you so much for your grace in our life, God. And I pray that today that we would not neglect, God, the important things of connecting with you and connecting with each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Sure love you guys. Thanks for being in my life. We'll see you tomorrow.